Well, welcome back to the Piney Woods Homestead, y'all. Today is all about getting the garden completely ready for planting <clears throat> here in a few weeks as the weather warms up. Lisa's got a whole bunch of plant starts over here. Potatoes are coming up, looking good, and I'm gonna show off our Ranger meat chicks real quick. We've got 50 of them, we had 51. There's always a straggler, he didn't make it. But 50 are looking great almost have all their feathers and we will be opening them up to the main part of their run here before too long guys thanks for stopping in at the potting woods homestead hit that like and subscribe if you hadn't and if you have as always y'all we appreciate you so the meat chicks are back here in their brooding section and check out what we did we've always used mothballs around a brooder except for one time when the snake actually got in and this year, not only did we use mothballs, I don't know if it just throws off their scent or what, but we put down an old rope all the way around it. Probably a wives tail, but so far, so good. Got old feed sacks stuffed up here in the cracks of the door. Just to make it harder for old rat snake if they wanted to. And stuff stuffed in down here at the bottom where there's any cracks whatsoever, because a snake, if they can get their head through it, they can get their whole body through it. Unless they're a real fat snake, then they get hung up in chicken wire, but let's check them out. Hey guys. <laughs> well, the weather's warming on up and we've already seen well, one snake, one king snake, was in some of the chicken litter that was mulching down. I like seeing king snakes, and I have yet to see one of those bother our chickens. Chicken eggs, anything like that. Usually it's just old rat snakes. Chicken snake. Those look good though, down to one heat lamp because it's warming up. In a few days, they'll be coming out to the main section of the run. I'm gonna fire up the Kubota L2501. Gonna get the final garden prep done on the big in-ground garden and get some rose healed. It's good to have the second tilling done on the garden and I don't know if you can really tell in the camera, but our garden that we've been working now for seven or eight years, cover cropping, this section is just beautiful soil. Yes, it's clay, but it's loamy. And the more we have cover cropped, the darker this soil gets and the better it works. Nice and fluffy, ready for the disc killer. Now, this section up here that we cleared last year it is still what I would call poor ground. It's gonna grow some food, but not near as good as what we've been working down here for years. There's where I took out these stumps in this area this year. There's still some debris I need to pick out by hand before I even put the disc killer on it. But it's just a different color and it doesn't work as pretty. It, it doesn't get as fluffy, even though this is just as dry. It's just because the clay is so much more dense. And the more that we cover crop that, it will actually build, it's not going to do away with the clay, but it's going to add organic matter that will help it get nice and fluffy and pretty like this over here. When I was down here at the end, there's a big pine tree and I was looking, something was sticking its head up and I said, I bet that's a snake. And it was, it was a black racer. Had his head tucked up looking at me and took off. Uh, one of these trees that I took out, the pine I've been milling, Last year, if you remember, if you watched the video, I was down here picking something, I think beans or something, and I look and I saw something falling. Black snake, just like that racer, fell from the top of that 100 foot pine all the way to the ground and slithered by me. So I don't like snakes, y'all, not one bit. Went ahead and got me one row, ran with the disc killer the trick to a good straight row is don't look behind you as you're going look straight ahead to where you're going there's a little bit of a curve in this one just because of the way the ground's laying but this killer works good for getting that 
seed bed up and we plant everything down here in the in-ground garden other than sweet corn in these raised hills. It just helps us to have extra fluffy big mound for those roots to grow down into. Plus when we have flood and rains we're not drowning out our crop. So I'm going to back back up in here again and get me another row run let you see that. And I could go back and forth back and forth but <clears throat> because we've got woods on really both ends it's too hard to turn around down the end. I'm trying to maximize, so I just back up in there. And I don't have my sweeps down. And all those are for is for keeping you from making tracks. But I want tracks right now so I can see what I'm doing. Later on, when I come in here, if I need to heal potatoes, I'll put those sweeps down so it will cut my tractor tire tracks, if that makes sense. So I'm in fourth gear, low range. You could do this in first gear, high range. You just want a little bit of speed. And the reason that you do is because you want to sling that dirt. And it will sling a lot of dirt, as you can see. These hills are every bit of 12 to 13 inches tall. And that's going to come in handy. What, what we'll do is we'll let it rain on it a time or two, if it rains before we plant in a few weeks. And then we'll come through here with just a garden rake, kind of scratch the crust off the top of these beds, and we'll get to planting. But this works out great for us, for our garden. Let me get some more rows done. Now that's 10, 125, 130-foot rows in the best part of the garden. Everything's been cover cropped. Now I'll go up there and work some of that poorer soil. And actually that upper row up there is getting into it a little bit. And this section back behind me, I want so bad to do this today, but Lisa said no. And she's right, I need to wait a few weeks. It's not quite consistently warm enough. I want to plant sweet corn so bad I can't stand it. We're gonna plant it down here this year. That way I can heal it with the tractor. Can't water it, but this is the lowest part of the garden and it consistently stays more damp in that section. So I'm hoping that's gonna help. Sweet corn's one of them things that I just don't do a whole bunch of because it's, I'm hit or miss on making ears or not, or a storm taking it down, don't matter how much I heal it. So. But these beds look good. I'll get that planted in a couple weeks. Even though I really wanna do it today because it's 85 degrees, but 40s are coming and Sweet corn don't like 40s. It needs to be a little bit warmer consistently to get it germinate. So let me get up here on some of this poor ground and see if I can get some rows bedded up.
I ended up with seven rows up here and you can tell probably even in the camera that the soil up here is just not on the same level yet as that down in the lower part of the garden but it will get there as time goes on next year will be even better if the Lord should tarry and we're still around <coughs> this dirt will just keep on getting better and better but I'm not sure everything that we'll plant up here you know I have potatoes on the upper side I believe some spaghetti squash are going in over here. I told Lisa I really wanted to plant some of those this year. I like them. Not sure what else will go in here, but Lisa has all the dirt out here that she can stand to play in. So it's going to be a busy, busy year, and it's already turning into summertime quick. Probably going to be extremely hot this year. Guys, we appreciate you stopping in at the Piney Woods. And on the next one, a walk and talk. And today is, let's see. What is today? Today is Tuesday, and so this is Thursday's video, and I'm not really sure what that walk and talk is going to be yet. I always wait for the Lord to give me some insight on what it is I'm to do and not just put something out. Guys, y'all have a good day, a great week, and Lord willing, and the creek don't rise too high, we will see you on the next one.